Camera Man. Then here you come in. Greetings and welcome to Ask Tamazoo Playboy with the glasses. Would you give a speech on what Halloween means to you? That's a very good question. And absolutely, I would love to give a speech. Halloween is all about the candy. And the money. No, it's not. Will you shut up, Commander Loser? I'm giving a speech here. I proclaim Halloween to be a national holiday. No, it is a national holiday, you twand. I, what did I say about interrupting me? A natural holiday in which we get off. Off! Because we never get Halloween off unless it lands on a weekend. We should be able to celebrate this spooky tradition by wearing costumes all over the place. It doesn't matter where you work or where you live. You should be able to express your belief in the Halloween spirit. And yes, there is a great pumpkin up above us. In the pumpkin patch, which I will never tell you where it is. It's in a pumpkin patch. Yeah, and which pumpkin patch is it? All right, for interrupting me. Take this. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking commander loser. Let there be ghouls and goblins and gremlins and spooky ghosts and slime and candy and money and Darth Vader's galore. And Batman, oh wait, never mind, not Batman, but Robin, and Superman, and Spider-Man, and any other superhero, and any other freaking character that you could think of. P.S. You can mention any characters that you'd like for Halloween in the comment section. And insert favorite candy in the comment section below. And that is what Halloween is all about. With guacamole. Yes. What is your favorite Halloween movie slash special? Well, it's definitely not Scary Movie 3, because the Commander Xander can vouch for that. P.S. Watch his review. It's hilarious. And I'm dead serious. Now, if I were to pick a Halloween movie slash special, the answer would be Beetlejuice, which the Commander Xander also happens to have reviewed. P.S. You should watch that one, too. I highly recommend that one. And I am dead serious about that one, too. So, yes, Beetlejuice is my favorite movie. In fact, let's summon him right now. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. It's so dead. He's a little scared, but he likes that. Ruby, Roinks. Like Zoinks. Let's get out of here, man. Wait a minute. Is Shaggy still in there? Who knew? What's your favorite Halloween memory? Oh, there's plenty I could pick and choose from. But the one that I remember the most is when I actually wore the full-blown Darth Vader helmet. And then the next year I was a Crimson Thunderstorm Thunder Ranger on Ninja Storm. Booyah! Good golly do I miss dressing up. As a matter of fact, who would like to have me... Dress up for Halloween. If so, post your comments or uh, post your suggestions in the comment section below or tweet them to me. I will dress up if you want me to. Only if I'm me. So please vote for me with guacamole. Yes. But back to my memories. There are so many because I absolutely adore dressing up. I'm the type of geekdom that will dress up for Halloween no matter how old I am. Because dressing up is so freaking awesome. Which is why I believe everybody at work, where you're working and when you're working, should be allowed to dress up for Halloween. I don't care what type of business it is. It's a free country, goddammit. If Colin Kaepernick can kneel down during the national anthem, then we should be allowed to dress up for Halloween. Also, I am awesome in public, so let me know. Yes. Isn't it scary that Channel Awesome constantly ignores you? Okay, not really a Halloween question, but yeah! Well, it's not really scary, it just annoys the hell out of me. 
Actually, I'm beyond annoyance. It pisses the hell out of me. Seriously, why aren't they considering me for their replacement? I don't care if you're not going to replace me. Replace that guy with the glasses. Just do it. Please. I'm begging you. How many times do I have to go through this? Like every freaking episode until they finally come to their senses? Doug Walker, I know your schedule's busy. I know you're dealing with nostalgia week. I applaud you for that. But you should consider me on your channel! Do you realize how legit your channel would be? Okay, fine, your channel's already legit. But even more legit. Besides, you really show just a bum anymore. Where's he? Why not have him be replaced by me? Besides, just a bum only sums up movies in a nutshell, which is pretty much what Willie does for his movies. So, yeah. Hence, I should be on that channel. So, for the love of God, channel awesome. Let me be a channel, let me be a channel, let me be a channel. What do you make of Willie's Halloween project? Oh, he's clearly ripping off of the Scooby Doo project and just inserting his little name in there. Except instead of showing the old Scooby Doo movies, he's just reviewing them. With Scooby and apparently Shaggy. By the way, is Scrappy still in there? Da 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 da! Puppy Power! God damn it, I hate Scrappy Doo! But I give him props, at least he finally has his own little segment beyond just summing up movies in a nutshell. He's summing up Scooby-Doo movies on Halloween. But this is a one-time thing, and this is why it's called The Project. It's a one-time thing. It's not a yearly thing. So, ha! With guacamole. Yes. I'm having a difficult time figuring out who to vote for. Should I be scared that there is no worthy candidate? Okay, just because you use the word scared or spooky or scary doesn't mean it's a Halloween type question. But I'm still going to answer this question. Yes, you should be scared. There is clearly no good legit candidate. This is basically a popularity contest, except the choice is obvious. You're obviously going to vote for Hillary Clinton because you don't want the 1% reigning supreme and ruling the rest of this nation. Which reminds me, who's voting for Trump? You know I'm not voting for Trump. Why do we have to go through this every time? Because one of you always votes for Trump. Hand hand, I think you can figure out which one it is. Now the rest of you. Who's not voting for Trump? Who would be not voting for Trump? Look, I'm not voting for a man. Neither will I. But if I had that puppy power, I would nominate myself as an independent. Yeah, good for you, Scrappy. Alright, Willie. Have you made up your mind? I hope it's the right one. Um I might move it from God, you're a fucking idiot! Alright guys, you know what to do! <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 wait, 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 stop, 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 stop! He's never gonna learn that way! But there is a method to teach him! Take this, you drunk voter! <laughs> and he wouldn't have gotten away with it if it weren't for that meddling dog! And the Playboy! With guacamole! And I didn't need to use the da 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 puppy power! Thank you, Scrappy. You suck! Last year I was a beautiful beach babe! Near before that I was a macho prince! What should I be this year? Pat? Is that you? Why can't I be Batman for Halloween? Because I'm Batman! This is Tamazoo Playboy with the glasses saying, there's no such thing as a dumb question until you ask it. You dumbass! 